Hey everyone and welcome to the big DLC ranking. You guys have asked this for a million times and finally here I am doing this now with the brand new conservation DLC. Uh, it is time to rank all the DLCs excluding the deluxe edition expansion because I really don't think that's a proper DLC. It's just like the deluxe animals from the base game and it's just like a couple of animals, no pieces and whatsoever. So I don't think that they are on the same list at those. Um, and so let's get started. I would say we are going to put the ones uh, from one to 10 over here. That's 10 packs we have in the list over here. And I'm not going to um, uh, differ between the animal packs and the normal packs. Um, simply because I think they have their own right to exist and um, hence I'm going to basically do the same even though cost-wise they are different but I think um, uh, just to rank them um, I'm purely going to ignore the price I'm going to ignore uh, if it's an animal pack or not I'm just talking you through why I think the pack is where it is okay so let's start things off with the first one uh, place number 10 um, is I guess the obvious choice that everyone has I guess um, it's not a bad pack at all but the Arctic pack, first of all, was so close to the game's release, like a month later, um, it really felt like they excluded that on purpose to just have a first DLC around Christmas, um, which from a business perspective makes it a lot of sense, but... Um this one is, uh, is purely about the polar bear, so if you want to have a polar bear um, and um, you, you live through the polar bear gate um, back then as we have uh, with this huge requirements and stuff, um, you need to grab that pack. Um, alongside this there's the arctic wolf, uh, I think the doll sheep and the reindeer. Um, so good animals, um, four only, so that's the only animal pack with all the only pack with four animals and a whole bunch of pieces and I got to say the pieces in this pack are really good though because the pieces in this pack um, are very useful since they're not climbable wood pieces so I have a, a great use for those pieces um, however the pack surely doesn't uh, have the same quality as all the other packs uh, whether it's going to be for usability in terms of the animals or usability in terms of the pieces so that's why it's a a well-deserved number 10, even though it's not a bad pack, so all packs are kind of good, but this is my least favorite pack. And again, this is purely my own opinion, um, so let's go through the packs. Now, number 9, I'm afraid, is the Southeast Asia Animal Pack. Now, from here on, it's going to be very hard. Uh, th the difference between all the packs I'm mentioning up until uh, place number 4 is super, super short and super small. I really switch them quite often, but here's the reason why the Southeast Animal Pack is my least favorite one. Now, we have a couple of really cool animals that were brought with this pack and a couple of really cool enrichment pieces, but the range of animals really didn't feel like so super new we've got some cats and we've got some bears and you know it, it felt like we have had all these things already in the game um so there was really not that much new to the game whether it's going to be in uh, you know in terms of uh, animations or in terms of uh, usability for specific habitats or for a specific region because at this point we already had quite some Asia, um, Asian animals in the game. I know that a lot of people wanted more Asian animals because obviously Asia is one of the richest areas of the world when it comes to animals but that is number nine. Going on with number eight is yeah it's the wetlands animal pack. Now don't get me wrong i think the roster in this pack is fantastic i think this is a really really good pack in terms of adding to the game's experience overall um I also like the quality of the animals, the, the rigging and the animations and the overall, you know, design is really cool. It's just like that, not all of them just kind of kick me off that much. Like it's, it's really, I love them. I love the platypus, I love the capybara, um, the water buffalo and stuff. It's, it's really, it's a good pack and a lot of cool animals are within that pack, including the crane, for example, um, some very useful ones. But just in a grand, uh, greater scheme, in terms of what does it add to the game, it's just number eight for me but it could have well been number five instead um as i said they're all so close together and from number four on we go into another region i would say now let's move on with number seven and that is the australia pack yeah i really struggled if i'm gonna put australia pack to the eight or to the 
7th position and at the end of the day I did put it to the 7th position simply because of the koala and the kangaroo because I love them so much um, but in terms of the overall pack usability it might even be for most people behind the wetlands pack um, however I also think there are a couple of really great foliage assets in this pack. Um, specifically, the, the trees are brilliantly done um, in terms of climbability from the animals, but also just how they look. The, these are definitely amongst the best made trees in the game. The shader and the overall quality of the leaves and stuff is outstanding. Um, so a very good one. Some really useful wooden pieces in here. A, a lot of cool uh, metal rod pieces. However, when it comes to the pieces in general, the usability of those pieces uh, for me personally there were a lot too many pieces that were kind of pre-made like statues and and painted uh painted pieces and stuff so they're not as versatile as another pack simply because they're super themed to australia which some people may like but as you know that i like to abuse pieces quite a bit that's why maybe this is not my favorite the def definitely from the five animal plus pieces packs this is definitely my least favorite one um other than obviously the arctic pack but i don't count that one really so the the newer ones this is my least favorite anyhow so let's move on to the sixth place and that is the other animal pack yeah surprisingly um the north america animal pack is my favorite of the four uh, the three animal packs we have so far now the reason why I, I do actually um, put this at the highest point of those is simply because of the um, the choice of animals. I think the choice of animals in here is really cool and the North American continent was really lacking in the game. So that is why I think in overall to just add to your game, I think this is the pack to go when you want to have more animals because they add a whole roster of new animals. They have diveability in there. They have some big ones in there with like the moose. Um, they have some really cool things in like the beaver as well as you can see over here, but we also have like the sea lion. Um, so really cool stuff. Uh, a lot of different animals in here that you can definitely use very well in your zoos um, and uh, I, I guess in terms of as I said adding to the roster of animals uh, in the game that is the pack to go that's why it's on number six for me okay coming now up number five and as I said uh, from number eight to number five everything was super close you could have exchanged them in whatever order you do and I potentially would have agreed to your list but in my list number five is the South America animal pack or uh, the South America pack not animal pack South America pack uh, in which we had a, a very nice addition of the capuchin monkeys and also as you can see the jaguar which at that point was a very high requested one we had the llama which is another funky animal we had in there so that is good the choice of animals was good but the the, the beast mode activated on this pack was definitely the foliage um all the wonderful tropical foliage at that point in time was really badly needed because the game was seriously and severely lacking some um foliage of uh you know of this time and i i really do think um that this this deserves a high place but now from from this point on it became so hard to judge which pack i'm going to put where um and the uh, the south america pack for me just lacked a couple of again the pieces in the pack were super useful when it came to foliage but then again the other pieces were kind of basic some temple pieces here and there some really good stuff but not outstanding in terms of pieces um and so that is why i ranked this over here now that said um this is where i really have a little gap now to number four i think there's a small gap and then the first four are again super tight together. Uh, I hope you guys are excited to which are the ones. Um, it was really hard to judge them, but that shows how good the quality of all the packs is. Um, so yeah, uh, we're right in there. Um, we're going on now with number four, and that is the latest release, the Conservation Pack. Now, this might be a strange one because I think after the initial launch of the um, of the pack and the announcement, I thought it's it has good chances to be my number one. The longer I had the pack, unfortunately it moved down the order a little bit, um, mainly actually because of two things. Uh, the first thing being is the um, the animal roster. Now, as much as I love the Siamang, and I do get the arguing for the Chevalsky horse, it is just not as useful for me personally, for me personally, for my zoos, I basically only 
think I'm going to use the Siamang quite often. But other than that, it is really not my personal pack in terms of the animals included. That is a super subjective thing. And the second thing is just the amount of pieces um, and the animations or the brachiation of the Siamang. So those two things are a little bit of a letdown for me. Um, however, I rank this at fourth so that that really shows you how good the pack is and I basically gave it um, a higher positioning uh, because usually I would have put that even behind, uh, behind the uh, South America pack but the reason why I ranked this here is because of the the quality of the pieces. Yes, we could have had a couple more pieces. This is unfortunately the pack with the least amount of uh, scenery items to it, but the quality of those pieces is just outstanding. The usability, the flexi color, like this pack, if you compare that directly to the South American pack, um, has the, the great advantage of, um, le you know, uh, there are a couple less pieces in there, but overall a lot more useful simply because, uh, for example, the temple pieces of the South American America pack were um, uh, in, in two variants, uh, one a non-flexi color one and the other one was a flexi color one. So that doubled the amount of temple pieces from, I guess, 12 to 24. But the 12 pieces you got in addition were basically pointless because you could have just repainted the flexi color one in exactly the color that the original set was in. So this kind of stuff didn't really happen in here. And so uh, on that, that often, there are a couple of little examples though, but um, they, they were a lot better now in, in making it super useful um, and there are like only two pieces I would point out that are really not useful like for example the insect hotel because it's like fully designed you can't really do anything else with it um, but other than that I really like the pack for what it is I think it's a very solid overall pack but it's just behind the other three uh, in which order Ever we're going to have them but a good job of frontier here a really decent pack and it shows that even the newest pack can rank very high in the order um, so let's move on with the next one which is the Africa pack yeah the Africa pack is really really special it could have easily been number one but there are just two packs that are even better than this for me now the Africa pack came with maybe the most useful assets in the game or pieces in the game um, with the DLC pieces um, and it came with uh, some very great animals. Now um, as you can see in this artwork over here the meerkat is obviously one of the coolest animals added. This was the smallest animal at that point um, uh, before they added the prairie dog um, with a whole new mechanic with the burrowing. Then we got the African penguin. We got the obviously it's not related to the uh, you know to the DLC but then afterwards we got the uh, change in terms of uh, uh, in terms of the diving requirement with the African penguin um, so really cool stuff we've got the rhino in here so very 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 good pack I really can't uh, tell you I think it's overall the choice of animals perfection and the pieces really really up there really really up there um i just really love this pack and uh, i can 100 percent recommend that if you need to choose one uh and you grab this one you did it right it's perfect so number three is that um so a well-deserved uh, uh third position here and now let's get to number two the runner-up is the planet zoo euro pack now that my friends that was a very, very hard decision to put that on second because it could have been first spot easily, but there's a reason why it isn't. And this, it's a more or less pointless one, but the reason why is because there's no diving animal in this pack. That is the only reason why I put this there. Um, I, I couldn't find another full stop. Um, so the the, the animal quality in this pack is outstanding and I and this is how things can change when the pack was announced I easily thought that's gonna be my least favorite pack boom that's it I even I even expressed that on a video and in a stream I was really concerned about this pack um, first of all being from Europe all these animals are not really like they are not really kind of special for me but the way they have just realize them in the game uh, especially the lynx is by far the best big cat we have in the in the game by far really really 
dope design. Um, so yeah, and then the pieces. The pieces are the best pieces we've get uh, gotten with a DLC. The decals, the usability of pieces, the flexi color, the texturing. It is the best pack when it comes to pieces. Um, and how they even made this in a pack that is a really good looking um, in terms of Europe, but b very useful for nearly every type of architecture you want to pull off. And then adding a very very solid highly requested decal roster with a lot of super useful decals is just absolutely phenomenal um so that is uh yeah 99.9 percent .9 for me of the list and now we get to the 100 which is no surprise anymore because that is the aquatic pack now here are a couple of reasons to why this first because it is a not the best animal roster and b not the best pieces and it's still number one in my list. And that is purely emotional. Um, because that pack opened the world of diving to us. And that is, till today, the first major change to the game in terms of uh, behavior mechanics that have changed. Unfortunately, I thought Brachiation could be the second. It's just not keeping up with the diving. It's As much as diving is still sometimes a little bit wonky and a little bit broken, um, it, it's... 100% the best thing added to the game post-release and that is why this thing will still keep this place in my heart. Maybe they're going to pull it off with a deep sea pack or a um, aviary pack or whatever, or aviation pack, however you want to call that, uh, might be the chance to, you know, move to the first spot. But um, this is it. Like, having having penguins, which is a zoo classic, and we never had penguins before, having the seal, uh, the caiman, a very broad roster of diving animals, um, insanely good quality, again, of the animals, a super nice set of animations for the diving, very cool enrichment items, um, a super solid, a super, super solid uh, roster of pieces. Um, especially the four rocks um, have been one of the most important additions to the game ever. Um, so, yeah, there is not really much I can say about this else than... It is my favorite pack. Um, as I said, um, from a from a more rational point of view, it wouldn't. But adding the emotional layer to it, and since that's a subjective uh, list, I can definitely do this. Um, that is why it is becoming number one. So the full list over here, my friends, is that one in front of you. Um, Aquatic pack made it to the first spot, very closely followed by the Euro pack and the Africa pack. A tiny bit of is the conservation pack because of the given reasons then there's a little gap again to the south america pack and from here on until ninth spot it is like in percent 0.1 percent points difference between those i yeah it, it has been insane and then with a to be fair bigger gap number 10 is the arctic pack but if i need to you know give them like percentages um i would still give the arctic pack a solid 75 percent rating um in terms of overall overall quality while the aquatic pack is definitely for me in the, in the 90s um you know there has yet to be a perfect pack um but uh it definitely is is this kind of ranking so yeah that's the list now let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about my list um what do you think? Um, is this something uh, you agree with? Is there anything else you would love to see? Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments down below. I really, 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 really would love to know what you guys uh, think about my list. Um, what would you rate them? What's your favorite pack? Um, is there any pack you don't have but you definitely want to have and maybe this ranking help you out? I don't know, but let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching as always. I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Have a good day and goodbye.